Well, George, Happy New Year to you. Yeah, Happy New Year. What about your, your New Year and your Christmas? It must have been every footballer's New Year and Christmas is business is business, but what about this one? It's been different, surely. Yeah, it's been one of the better ones football-wise. I mean, um, Gaffer said it's always it's always the best Boxing Day if you win. So it, we enjoyed Christmas. Obviously, we got good results. So one of the best Christmases football-wise. A New Year's Day, of course. There's no game on that one for you, but the big one coming up that people will be saying, "Yeah, this is so exciting." You're looking very calm, very collective there. Is that the the atmosphere across the camp or deep inside? Are you like ducks going across the water with the, the legs moving fast underneath? No, I think I think we all are calm. Um, obviously, we're in a good run of form and starting to get players back to full fitness as well. So we've got a, a big squad to choose from, and I think it's just healthy because we've got good competition for places now. And I think that that goes throughout the squad. We're all we're all confident, and hopefully, we can do something another shock on Saturday. It's going to be a shock in a way, but the teams are probably nowadays decided an awful lot by what's happening in the COVID situation. Are you saying at the moment that you feel it's there's just a massive competition in the squad and COVID at the moment isn't showing its ugly face? Um, we've obviously had those cases and we've had a few players out, but I think the majority of them are back now and injuries, we're, we're, we're looking good on that front as well. So I think we've got <clears throat> most of the squad back really and the gaffer's got a good um, selection to choose from for, for Saturday's game and the league game on the Tuesday night as well. I'm afraid I'm losing you at the moment on the, on the Zoom a little bit. Uh, but at the same time, do you feel this game is coming just at the right time for you? If there ever is a game that comes just at the right time? Yeah, probably. I mean, on the back of our results, um, it is a good time to play them. And... Um, We've shown we can <coughs> cause an upset. We beat two League One teams and hopefully now we can go and beat a championship side. I mean, it's a step up, but hopefully we can go there, play a stuff and see what we can do. And what about the build-up to the game now? I'm going to ask you a question. I'm sure you're, you're a professional. You'll answer me honestly. Do you lose any sleep for a night before a match like this? No, definitely not. More, <coughs> It's more excitement than... Um, nervous I'd say for a, for a cup game like this we've got nothing to lose like you said against the championship side so we've just got to go out there do his best and it's worked in the last two rounds so hopefully we can do it again I mean it's a fantastic result to keep the uh, momentum going on to the uh, FA Cup against Middlesbrough this weekend uh, touching on what Tony asked earlier uh, when you look at the FA Cup is it, is it still full you with excitement knowing you can get a, potentially uh, an even bigger side in the next round yeah I think so uh, like when we've played the League One clubs of Sunderland and Doncaster, we've been excited for both of them, but we've always felt like we could win, and I feel like that's just, that's the same again. We we can't go into it just being underdog. Well, we are underdogs, but we can't go into it with that mindset. We've got to go in like we have for Sunderland and Doncaster, and hopefully we can do another shock in the third round, and then we'll see what happens with the, if, with the draw if we do get through. Yeah, yeah. What what can you take from the Sunderland and, and Doncaster wins into this round uh, in terms of the attributes that the team play and, and the confidence as well? Yeah, with them two games, I don't feel like we was was ever outplayed or nothing like that. We we've gone there and actually like deserved to win. We wasn't obviously we was holding on a bit at, at Sunderland, but you go you go into it that place. But we was good and we was more than a match for both of them sides. So. It's obviously a step up this time. It's a championship club who's doing well. We know it's going to be harder than the the previous two games, but we're at home, so hopefully that can count for something and we can get the fans behind us. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Uh, talking of the FA Cup, have you got any special memories of the competition, either as a, as a player or as a fan? To be fair, not really. It sounds sounds a bit rubbish, but um, I've probably got to the third round once before. I've never, I don't think I've ever got past the, the third round, so from a personal point, that would be, that'd be nice to do and... Hopefully, get a big draw away from home or a big one here. See, see, see what big team we can pull in. Yeah, I know it's hypothetical, of course. Uh, but who, who would you want in the uh, in the fourth round? Should you get there? Um, any prem team really? Any any prem team away or home? Either just to play against the best. Obviously, it'd be a, it'd be a tough day wherever we went to, but it'd be enjoyable for us and an experience for all those players and fans. Yeah, certainly will be. All right, George, appreciate your time. Thank and, you. Uh, and all the rest of Saturday. Cheers, thanks. Thanks.